All right, guys, the next hired request, we're doing uh, Leonard Skinner. All I can do is write about it. Um, I'm a big Skinner fan, but this is not one that I really know that well. So uh, it's got some nice piano parts in it. This is the live, or yeah, live acoustic version. Um, if you search YouTube and you do a, a search for Leonard Skinner, all I can do is write about it acoustic, then uh, you'll find it and you can follow along and learn this piano solo. Uh, <clears throat> but let me play this for you first. The piano part starts about oh, a minute 40, a minute 40 into it, and it sounds like this. Let me start that again. same form um, with different chords later on and uh, but a lot of what I call country thirds and some people call it slip note style playing but I call it a country third because you always hear that in country music on piano if you don't know how to do it it's, it's really uh, pretty simple you take your chord that you're on like a C chord uh, for example C E G root position root position just means a C is on the bottom uh, the name of the chord is on the bottom, is what that means, root position. And we're going to <clears throat> use the top two notes here, the E and the G, and the note one step down from this one, the D, and we're going to flip it up to the E, like that. And you get that sound. So I'm playing the D and the G real quickly, or playing the D quickly and, and, and slipping it to the E. Okay? And you get that sound. And you can do that on any chord. You can do it on a G chord, G, B, D. Remember to account for your sharps. Like if you do a D chord, a D major, there's F sharp in that middle to make it a major chord. And you uh, do E to F sharp. Slip it like that. So it'd be good practice if you're not used to doing that. Just pick a chord out. See, I kind of drop my wrist as I come down on it. it makes it easier. And then just kind of go up the white keys. Alright, you'll, you'll get used to me doing it, doing it in no time. Alright, now this is also something where there's a, a lot of, you know, I almost said dead time, but there's a lot of space there because, you know, you have all the other instruments playing, and when you're playing a piano solo with other instruments, they kind of take care of, of some of the stuff the left hand might do uh, if you were playing by yourself. you got bass and drums and rhythm guitar. Uh, and so sometimes you, you, know, you don't have to play as much um, <clears throat> with left hand and, and uh, filling in rhythms and that sort of thing. But if you're playing by yourself, you have to do that. So I'm going to kind of show you what to do um, to fill in if you're playing by yourself and not with the recording or anything. Okay, but first let's just learn the chords and learn the solo and then we'll um, learn how to do that kind of vamping, filling in um, when there's space in there. <clears throat> so we're going to have, let's see, one, three chords at least on this board, all right? And so on left hand, I have one letter, but we want to do an octave, C octave. And you can also put that fifth in the middle. A fifth falls naturally under that pointer finger. If you have a C octave and you have the G is the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So you have that. You can add in there. Now on the G, we're going to do a G octave, and you can also put the fifth in there, which would be a D. All right. And then the left hand is a D there. Now the left hand is kind of inaudible in this, so I'm sure he's probably playing something on the left hand, but you can't really hear it because of the other instruments. <clears throat> so we're gonna, you know, kind of try to fill that in, fill in the blanks. D octave, A in the middle. Alright, so those are our three 
three chords we're going to be using on this board. And for right now, we're just going to play uh, the octave. And sometimes I use the fifth, especially when I'm up higher in the middle register or something. But let's start with the octave on the, the C left hand. One, two, three. Okay, so this is on count one. And again, about a minute 40 into the song, we're going to play our C octave. One, two, three. All right, so this C and this C is count uh, one, uh, two and count three. So you want to make your little roll here. <clears throat> Just a little bit ahead of that beat so that you land on your thumb on the beat. And that's... Uh, a rule that I kind of find in you know arpeggiating and piano playing is the last note you play whether you're rolling up or rolling down um, is the last note is the one that you want to end up on the beat all right one two three and then we have that all right so we're gonna be up way high for this G E D C so it's kind of a five finger pattern G E D C so we're just leaving out the F we're doing the roll. Now, you don't... <clears throat> it's not really in a certain uh, beat or time. You just... Bum, bum, and kind of like drumming your fingers on a desk, except we're going uh, this way, top to bottom. <clears throat> All right, so let's do that far. One, two, three. Now we're going to have... in the morning, still have my voice left. Um, middle C, and then we're going to have our, our country third that we were talking about, G and D together, and then we flip it to E, and then we go to G and D, and then G and C. Alright, so we have one, two, three. Now, of course, we're totally welcome and encouraged to keep playing that C octave in here. Alright? <clears throat> so, one, two, three. Definitely you can play it again here. There. <clears throat> On that beat. But you just kind of fill in the gaps with that left hand. Let's do it again. Ready? Go. One, two, Three. All right, so I played it all throughout, just kind of in the gaps. One, two. Okay, now we go to this one. <clears throat> G octave on the left hand. And then we have B, D, G on the right hand. <clears throat> oh, my allergies are killing me today. <clears throat> uh, B, D, G together with the G octave. G A B and then here A D F sharp A alright if that's too difficult for you just go uh, you know you can do any form of a D chord it'd be fine as long as you play D F sharp A probably the easiest thing to do which he does sometime later is F sharp A and D or you could do A D F sharp it doesn't matter uh, just as long as you play a D chord but G A B so I'm doing A, D, F sharp A, and I'm using my fourth finger. Don't be afraid to use your fourth finger when you have a, a four note chord. <clears throat> All right, and then we have F sharp and D together, a sixth, then move that sixth up to G and E, and then move it up to A and F, and then, oh, that sounds wrong going slow. You think, well, why isn't that F sharp? Uh, he just does an F, he just does a right there in F natural. When in the as the song is moving along it'll sound just fine. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> B D G and G octave in the left hand and then G A B Alright so kind of groups of three or groups of four. Da 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 ba da 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 <clears throat> So let's start right here. Ready go one. Da, 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 da. And then here we go. 
I forgot to mention, I always usually do this at the beginning of the video. The rest of it, I'm going to do the whole uh, tutorial on the uh, solo part, will be finished on webpianoteacher.com. This is just the free part one that I put on YouTube. It's also a hired request. Someone hired me to do this one uh, in uh, great peace. But uh, <clears throat> the rest of it's on webpianoteacher.com. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I'm on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for Web Piano Teacher. Um, you can find me, and you can keep up with what I'm what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll do special offers, and you won't know about those unless uh, we're in contact on Facebook. Uh, Twitter, my name is Web Piano Teacher. There, if you want to get tweets for when I upload a new video or whatever I post. I have a blog that's on the site. If you go to webpanelteacher.com and click on the blog, I have quite a few articles that I've written um, about various things in music and uh, piano, so check that out. All right, back to the lesson. Um, <clears throat> let's let's uh, start at the beginning and go thus far. Ready, go, one. <laughs> those left hand it's always in the gap and I'm not playing it too loudly and I don't always have to play the whole octave I can just play the pinky or the thumb okay whatever suits me um, now G C E but if you're not used to doing that a good way to start is just playing the octave so don't beat yourself up about it if you're just if you're having trouble playing the right hand left hand together just do the bare minimum um, it'll still sound fine G C E left hand C octave now, this next chord is quite a bit later, and you can't really tell that, so I'll put a little dash there. You hold on to that one for a while. One, two, three, and again, that's G, C, E, and then... It's just up an octave. D and G together, flip it to E, back to D with a G, G, C. So, bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> All right, so let's add on to the train. This is how I like to learn things. Um, learn a little bit, learn, you know, add the next link in the chain and uh, just keep adding. And then eventually you got to have a new starting place because it gets too long. But uh, here we go. Ready, go. So let's start right here. Ready, go. One. Not even roll it. Ready, go. One. All right. <clears throat> so let's add that on to our chain here. So beginning, ready, go. One. So 
that's going to be our country third on the C again, just like we've done two other times. So, all right, I won't explain that again. It's just like this one, just like this one. And then B, D, G with the G off in the left hand. All right, so this is going to be D on the top on the pinky every time. And then the bottom notes are going to go G, A, B. Okay, so one. Of course, on the next board, we'll have the D chord, and then I'll finish it on the website. But uh, let's go through the whole thing now. All right. <clears throat> and again, if you're having trouble vamping that left hand, just start with just a plain octave. And play just what I have here on the left hand until you get the right hand down. And then you can start trying that, you know, to fill in there, fill in the gaps. Okay. <clears throat> And it's kind of like, you know, when a child learns to talk. It's not, you can't, I can't sit down and explain to you, you know, everything. I mean, I could, but you wouldn't really get it. Um, just like a child learns to speak, they just listen to you talk. You try to, you know, say words that, you know, they would be able to say. And eventually, they just learn it and they get it on their own. You just kind of help them along. And that's really all I can do with you on this, on learning how to vamp on the left hand. If I went and showed you every little single thing, you really wouldn't learn how to do it in other songs. Um, it's the, you know, this where they say teach a person how to fish instead of just giving them a fish. So uh, it's really valuable to do that. So as a, a teacher, I've always tried to show you how to do that. <clears throat> all right. So let's do the whole thing now. Ready, go. One. to see what I was doing because once you, you start to be able to do that you don't really realize what you're playing you just kind of are filling in I'm playing the octave one ba, ba, ba. all right so watch my left hand I'll play the left hand louder than the right so you can hear what I'm doing on that left here we go ready go one. the right hand. Um, <clears throat> so I made the left hand louder there. And again, the left hand is not audible in this recording. He may not even be playing left hand, I don't know. But uh, we have to come up with something to play if we're playing by ourselves in that left hand. So those are the chords. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will talk to you later.